Hey folks, Kai here. I uh, just want to say thank you so much for the support on the To The Moon Bestest Memories Kickstarter campaign. Uh, we started it about a month ago and uh, it really surpassed our wildest expectations, so thank you so much for that. And actually since then we've been uh, working on an, uh, an exhibit for the artists here uh, for the local library. So uh, we've been busy with that and then a turnaround and it's like, oh no, there's like 48 hours left until the campaign's over. So I figured I should uh, be responsible and do something. Um, so here's, I'm, I wanted to show you some of the stuff we got. Um, so we've already shown you some of the other uh, goodies like the acrylic stands uh, and some of the art books but I just wanted to show you this um, the t-shirts we recently got and uh, so here's a sample I'm wearing one of them now so as you can see this one's designed by Kaden Chan and um, it actually turned out really well like uh, the colors and everything the effect is really awesome uh, it's a great design but we might try to shrink it down a little bit it's a little big right now um, and also, I think right now the um, it's, the print is a little off center. Uh, if it feels that way, we probably should move it that way a little bit. Uh, but yeah, we'll be going over these details with the uh, the manufacturers to try to get things uh, look more right. <laughs> uh, and here you can see there's the second T-shirt. This one's by Victoria. Do uh, right, and it's the to the moon, <clears throat> to the moon rabbit one. You can see that, that she designed it in such a way that you know the rabbit kind of uh, almost glows in the sky a little bit. And I think this one turned out to be quite well. And the fabric's really nice and comfy. It's actually pretty thick. Um, but yeah, this is feels feels really good. And for this one, I don't think we need to change too much about it. Um, maybe also shrink the prints down a little bit, but it's also kind of cool that it's, you know, Anyway, <laughs> we'll talk about it uh, afterwards with the uh, with the team. And actually, this third shirt, this is the one that I think surprised me. Uh, it actually came out like surprisingly well. Um, it was hard to tell with a design like like this um, compared to more traditional shirt designs, but it actually turned out really well. Uh, with a quote on the back, and is it any more important than any of the moments leading to it? And. Uh, as you can see, there's also a bit of a uh, interesting marks on the sleeves. The rocket on one sleeve, and a bunch of little symbols on the other. <laughs> it's very to the moon themed. So this, I think, we only got like a hundred of these. Uh, it's like one of the add-on items in the Kickstarter campaign. And do 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 do. So yeah, this uh, it's super comfy too. Like you can look inside. My wife, my wife actually wore this. Um, during the exhibit <laughs> and yeah it's super comfy it's like extremely soft for some reason okay and we do have a few other prints which these ones actually I'm kind of excited about these are the tote bags I have no idea I would be excited about a tote bag but the prints these are by uh, George and um, you know the it's very stylish it, it turned out really well the prints themselves this is a to the moon one and uh, here is the Finding Paradise one. Beautiful colors. And lastly, here is the Imposter Factory one. I think out of the three, this might actually be my favorite. <laughs> because you got Long Cat and Rice. Beautifully designed. Look at that swirl. Look at that longness. You just, you just, it's very great. But the only thing with these bags, I think we're gonna uh, bring up with the manufacturer is if you look at if you look at like close like the letters I think they use some other kind of um, printing method here because the letters some of the letters are messed up all the colors like the actual picture itself is spot on it's perfect um, but yeah there's something wrong with the letter so we just want to make sure that this doesn't happen or um, if there's an alternative method to I feel like maybe it's like the designs on the border they had to use a different printing method or something um, but yeah, we'll bring this up with them. So, yeah, like, it's definitely eye-opening to deal with, like, physical, um, you know, manufacturing and just getting something from design into being. <laughs> uh, and there's a lot of things that uh, can go wrong, so I, I really appreciate the patience going with us, um, you know, uh, to, to get these things uh, as right as possible. <laughs> and yeah, thank you for the patience, and we'll, we'll try our best to, to get these um, to make be sure like you're happy when you get them 
and so that's that yeah like, uh, i think we'll, we'll definitely have one of those um uh post-mortems about this campaign at some point in the future it's definitely an interesting experience uh it's an exciting one it's kind of a scary one and um, there's definitely a lot of things learned and um a lot of uh, uh yeah at some point i think because it kind of went over our expectations and i actually kind of uh, going through all the charts and everything i kind of became a little cautious like it's our first campaign of this kind and i know with these things there are always going to be surprises that happen or hidden expenses and stuff like that so i just wanted to make sure like even with some wiggle room that if things go wrong and when or if <laughs> we are still able to uh, be able to deal with it definitely definitely a lot of things learned and i'm actually looking forward to doing that post-mortem with the team um, perhaps even doing like a video about it um, Inter interesting experience <laughs> but either way yeah thank you so much uh, for your support everyone uh, so what will happen is uh, after the campaign is over um, uh, within about a month that would say a survey will be sent out with uh, a lot more details um, you know in, in terms of uh, like you know, shirt size and the message you want to leave on the um, in the beach episode on the beach um, and all that kind of stuff and we're working with backer kit uh, who's more uh, experienced with dealing with this side of things to make sure everything goes smoothly uh, all right so i guess I'll, I'll end this one here uh, i actually got yeah quite a few things i wanted to share but right now it's kind of hectic so uh, in the near future so here's the exhibit we were doing with the local library and we had a ton of fun uh, you might have seen some posts on social media about it uh, but yeah we'll have a lot more to share with, about that uh, since a lot of folks it's hard to to attend real, in real life because it's in such a uh, remote location out of town in a rural kind of area <laughs> uh, but it was crazy it was um, still such a turnout uh, we had folks coming in from the community from out of town and from even you know Montreal and New York which is uh, which is heartwarming <laughs> um, yeah I'm looking forward to sharing more on that in the, uh, in the coming future but yeah, just wanted to give you guys a quick update first. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. And yeah, I'll, I'll see you next time. Take care, guys. Bye. -bye.